Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the qualification of Bahrain National Junior Handball Team for the 2018 World Men's Junior Handball Championship scheduled in Spain 2019 through the 2018 Asian Men's Junior Handball Championship concluded in Oman. His Highness Sheikh Nasser attributed the new sport achievement to the royal support for the youth and sports sector. He added that the efforts made by the administrative and technical bodies of the team created the reality of qualifying, which ensured the national team to be in the world championship. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa met U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on the sidelines of the Ministerial Conference of, on Promotion of Religious Freedom, which was held by the U.S. State Department in Washington, D.C. They discussed the historical relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United States of America, as well as means of enhancing them and ways of developing joint cooperation at various levels to serve the interests of the two friendly countries and people, in addition to reinforcing security peace in the region. They also exchanged views on the topics uh, tabled for discussion in the ministerial conference, regional and global issues and developments of mutual interests as well as opportunities to enhance international security and stability. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa participated in the Ministerial Conference on Promotion of Religious Freedom held in Washington, D.C. yesterday and attended by representatives of numerous governments and civil societies from all over the world. The minister affirmed that under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain has become one of the best models of religious coexistence in the world. He added that His Majesty is keen on accomplishing the initiatives and exerting all efforts to establish peaceful coexistence between all human beings referring to the recently established King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful Coexistence that made of Bahrain an important international hub for interfaith understanding and dialogue. Sheikh Khalid affirmed Bahrain's pride to have been and will remain an incubator of various religious beliefs while mosques, churches and temples are erected side by side in the national constitution guarantees religious and personal freedoms. The Minister of Foreign Affairs pointed out that the Middle East boosts a long history of peaceful coexistence and that extremism and ignorance are the most important obstacles to religious freedom and its respect. At the end of the conference, leaflets outlining the efforts of the Kingdom of Bahrain in promoting the religious freedom and highlighting the Kingdom of Bahrain's declaration of July 3, 2017 have been distributed to the participants in the conference.